This is a real Lee fake iPhone 8 Plus. Now I can see you asking already, but why and where did you get a fake iPhone? Well, I didn't actually get this phone. A friend of mine bought this on eBay and it was one of those too good to be true, but maybe you should just kind of take a chance on it prices and it seemed like the right deal at the time. It's an iPhone 8 plus 256 gig of internal storage and it was about $200 and he thought maybe I should roll the dice. Obviously it was described as a real working iPhone. It came in this box that looks kind of like an Apple box. It's shaped kind of like an Apple iPhone. We've got an iPhone right here. This is a seven, not a plus, but still an iPhone seven. And if you take a look at it, they're the same thickness. Their build quality's sort of the same. I wouldn't say it's on par, but I'd say, you know, at first glance, you could easily mistake this as being a real iPhone. It's got a touch ID sensor that might work. It's got a lightning connector on it. It charges with a lightning cable and the weight, the density, it feels just about the same, which could lead you to believe it's got that Apple build quality. Now you can see right off the bat that the screen's kind of separating from the body here and the body's starting to get a little bit of a curve to it because the battery is obviously swelling. It uses a fake battery too. I mean, obviously a battery is a battery, but the inferior cells tend to go bad a little bit quicker, even with no usage at all, like this one has seen. It starts swelling up and you might end up with the old fire hazard or the exploding lithium battery. Another thing you might have noticed already is this iPhone is red and you're thinking fake. No, Apple makes a product red version of almost every device, at least they did for a very long time. It's very cool. Instead of having all the anodized aluminum, it also had a red glass back before all of the iPhones were glass and it looked really cool. And for the most part, you'd easily be forgiven for thinking this is a real iPhone, especially if you were walking down the street and saw somebody talking on it. But you don't have to see the phone to know that it's fake. You can just start right here at the box. Now, the box to start with, the font looks strange. Here's an actual iPhone box for a 13 that showed up just yesterday. And if you take a look at it, first the font is so close. They tried so hard, but the H uh, protrudes over the top of the P. Apple would never do something like that. That's a huge oversight right there. The iPhone is sort of raised on the fake box, but very raised on the Apple boxes. The Apple logos are perfect on the fake box. They're just a little bit off center. Like they tried, but they didn't quite make it there. And then for the really cool parts on the back here, the sticker is not even straight. And right underneath the terribly placed sticker that isn't straight, it kicks it right off with includes dot iPhone and the P's not capitalized, eight dot plus dot ear pods with remote. It's so bad as soon as you read just the first couple of words on the label. I think that's hilarious. They tried, but they didn't even get close. And the bottom label on the box is also totally skewed. They didn't get that on their rights either. That one looks just a little bit better. I think the, the top one is a lot worse than the bottom one is, but the bottom one is missing like an FCC ID, which I think is typically there. So the box is your first clue that you're buying a fake iPhone. The packaging, they kind of got close. So I guess we give it to them and it probably came with a working charger and lightning adapter. And I guess that's all my friend got out of it that was of any value. Now, let's power this thing on and check it out. We'll actually start both of these up right beside each other. Here we go, powering them both on. Right off the bat, first the screen is just blown out. The actual iPhone is automatically doing its brightness thing and you heard the uh, vibrate motor run, which you really never hear on an iPhone. It has a very buzzy vibrate motor that's clearly messed up. And the iPhone logo is not centered in the screen. <laughs> Just right off the bat. There's another one of the vibrates. Startup time, very long there. Uh, it says press home to open. We've got no SIM. The clock is in two positions and it's not centered. And it says 0839. I mean, you can pretty clearly see this is Android within like three seconds of it booting up. It is obviously, obviously Android. The iPhone runs so smoothly. Let's fire up the fake one. You can see it like do the Android retract up there. And now that we're on the home screen, we can see 
that the fake iPhone, they tried very hard to skin this to look like an actual iPhone. But the beauty is only surface deep. The second you click on anything, this phone falls apart. Let's start with home. As soon as you open up home, it says, welcome. There's an E missing from the very first word that you see there. If you open it up, it still looks like home, but it obviously is not home on an actual iPhone. If we swipe up for control center, actually it looks pretty close and the brightness controls work even though they're slow. Honestly, they did pretty well there. Here is welcome to health. They put health in quotes right on the screen and I would not put my info in on anything on the screen. If this was connected to Wi-Fi, it would probably send all my data straight back to China. Moving on, opening up our fake apps here, let's fire up the camera. And we get nothing, ever. <laughs> nothing looks right in the camera though. It's very clearly the Android camera. Nothing works at all, which is honestly impressive. And sometimes when you open the camera app, it just says, camera not detected. <laughs> Photos isn't responding. Do you want to close it? Have you ever seen that on an iPhone? The iPhone would obviously automatically crash the app as it does with its watchdog timer. After a few seconds, it's like, sorry app, you're dying. And Android's like, do you want to wait? So obviously Android is giving you like an option. The iPhone knows better than you do and just obviously kills the app off because it's probably malfunctioning. It's a lot better to just kill the app than wait. Hey, look at that. If you click on Apple Maps, it's the Apple Maps icon and it says Maps, which is clearly Apple Maps and it opens Google Maps, telling us again, this is Android. Now the fake iPhone does a very good job disguising the fact that it's actually running Android. I know I'm just opening up random apps and showing you guys like problems with the apps themselves. But if you go into the settings and you start trying to find, you know, an Android version or something like that, it's gone. They don't show it anywhere. Settings almost looks real. They copied every icon. They did a okay job other than the fact that Wi-Fi just says disconnect when it's not connected to a network. And if we go to general here, it looks again, a little bit like the iPhone. And if we go to software update, it says that it's actually iOS 11.0. Obviously it's not. And if we go to about, which is where I would expect to see an Android version, it's not there either. Touch ID is one of the weirdest parts of the menu as well. I'm not gonna put my fingerprints into this phone, but it does say apply Touch ID to iPhone unlock, Apple Pay, iTunes Store, and App Store, and the text runs off the screen. Just terrible mistakes that you'd never find on an iPhone. And honestly, you don't even find these mistakes in Android. This is just a whole bunch of nonsense that happened when they took Android that works well, and they took a fake clone of iOS and tried to smash them into one and created this monster that is not good in any way, just trying to act like they have an iPhone. This is probably a pretty good phone running vanilla Android. If you flashed up to that, it might be worth actually using. The funniest part of the Touch ID window here is that it says add finger touch. Obviously it would say set up Touch ID on an iPhone. Again, the clock looks wrong on the home screen. It just has so many problems. I don't think I could even cover them all if I tried. The only things they really got right here were, uh, <laughs> look at that, it's got the Google Play Store. <laughs> here I was getting ready to compliment them on getting some things right, but if you open up extras, it has the Play Store. It's got the nice YouTube app, which obviously left the iPhone by default years ago, and now you have to install it. If you remember the early iPhones had the little TV icon for YouTube, well, it's been gone for a long time. In extras, it shows back up on this phone. And then there's another one that should say find my and you know, a current version of iOS. On this one, it says find iPhone. I'm pretty sure before that it even said find my iPhone. So this phone fails the litmus test in every way. Unfortunately, if you were quickly walking by through Chinatown or browsing eBay and it said real iPhone for 200 bucks, you might click buy. And it, you know what, it probably works as a phone. So if you just need to make a call, I guess you're not out all of your money. But if you were expecting an iPhone, this is an absolute fraud, a failure, a very, very, very fake iPhone. But on the surface, the fake iPhone looks pretty real. If you go to use this thing, good luck. 
because a lot of it is not going to work. You'd be better served with a cheaper $200 real iPhone that might be a couple generations older, but at least it'll work like it's supposed to. The camera will actually be there and you won't have to worry about the entire operating system being a backend that's stealing your data and sending it back to China. So that's what it's like to have and use a fake iPhone 8 Plus. I thought this was very interesting because you don't really find fake iPhones. Obviously, if you're buying one, you probably want things that actually work like iMessage and FaceTime, and this is not going to hit any of those marks. With that said, it's unfortunate that these exist and it is a fraud and it's probably taken a lot of people's money. If you need a phone, you should just buy a real Android phone or buy a real iPhone, whichever choice you wanna make. That is all I have for you today, guys. Thank you so much for watching Tech Throwback and I can't wait to see you on the next one.